Today we have a 2024 Hummer EV pickup. In this video, I'll talk about what the Hummer EV is, how I feel about the interior space and what it's like to drive it. Now, you can look at the new Hummer EV in many different ways and say various things about it, but one thing's for sure. It has a presence that most pickup trucks don't and I have a feeling it will age well. Talking about you, Cybertruck. Anyways, I'm not someone who loves yapping about the design, so let's get right into technical aspects. The Hummer EV was the first vehicle to use GM's Altium EV architecture, which basically is a modular drivetrain consisting of electric motors and battery packs that can be applied to many different vehicles, from compact SUVs to big trucks like the Hummer EV. Now, despite being a 400 volt architecture, Altium is capable of 800 volt fast charging, which you will appreciate in a big truck like that that has such a huge battery. But I'm gonna talk about that in a second. The platform on which the Hummer is based on is a mix of unibody and body-on-battery solution. It was designed with large SUVs and trucks in mind and underpins vehicles such as the Chevy Silverado EV, GMC Sierra EV or the Cadillac Escalade IQ. Now, the chassis, due to the weight exceeding 9,000 pounds, has a lot of work to do and consists of a multi-link setup front and back with adaptive dampers that can change rates based on the driving mode you're in and air springs which allow you to adjust the ground clearance and height of the truck. As of powertrain, we get two options, a dual-motor EV2X with 570 horsepower or a 1,000 horsepower EV3X that you see here. We get two battery sizes. The standard 20 module pack provides 311 miles of range for the EV2X and 314 miles for the EV3X. Now for additional 10 grand, the EV3X can be equipped with a bigger 24 module battery pack that GMC claims provides up to 381 miles of range or 359 miles if you opt for an extreme off-road package. As a side note, that package will give you locking front and rear diffs, skid plates, Mattering tires with 18 inch rims, rocket protectors, enhanced camera system, and recovery hooks. Now, before we talk how it all works together, let's take a look inside and talk about the interior space. Now, the cabin of the Hummer EV matches the exterior with a simple, rugged design and a great usability. Something you would expect from a pickup truck, right? The door pockets are a good size and offer a good amount of space, the center console is gigantic and you have enough storage solutions across the cabin, including compartments behind the backrest of the rear bench. Speaking of, the rear space, just like everything else about this truck, is enormous and I wouldn't have any issues fitting three adults back there and yes, I could be one of them. We can only get one configuration, a crew cap with a 5-foot bed which has GM's signature multi-pearl tailgate. The bed is relatively small, measuring just 5 feet long and around 4 feet across for a total of 37 cubic feet of usable space. The front is a nice addition, being large enough to store the target panels. Yes, you can take the roof off in the Hummer EV. Now, the front seats with heating and cooling can accommodate pretty much any body type, offering great range of adjustability and the driving position gives you a good command of the road. Also, one thing about GMC is they know how to combine usability with technology. There are a lot of physical controls for things that require easy access, the digital gauge cluster is fairly customizable and provides you with all the information you need, and the infotainment system based on Android Automotive OS has a very clean, logical interface with cool high-resolution graphics exclusive to the Hummer. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard in case you don't feel like using the built-in Google Maps. So, that was the interior of the new Hummer EV. Let's get it on the road now and see how it drives. Driving the Hummer EV is shockingly easy and pleasant. 
First of all, it doesn't feel like a such a big truck that's more than 7 feet wide. Many of it has to do with the 4 wheel steering system which at low speeds turns the rear wheels up to 10 degrees in either direction to give you that feeling of driving a vehicle with much shorter wheelbase. The Hummer is super maneuverable and driving it around the city is much easier than you think. You just have to keep in mind the dimensions. Obviously, just like most four-wheel steering systems, at higher speeds, the front and rear wheels turn in the same direction to improve stability during lane changes and wide turns. Now, since we're on the topic of four-wheel steering, you might have heard of crop walk, which is Hummer's party trick. Basically, it allows the angle of the rear wheels to mimic the angle of the front wheels, allowing your vehicle to move more diagonally, like a crab. Now, the right comfort that the Hummer EV offers can be compared to luxury SUVs. Seriously, this thing rides exceptionally well. All road imperfections are soaked up in a pleasant way and while there is noticeable wind and tire noise at speeds of 70 miles an hour and above, it does well on a highway plus, being so high up makes you feel like a king of the road. Now, let's engage the what's to freedom mode. Left foot on the brake, right all the way down on the accelerator and we get catapulted from 0 to 60 in around 3 seconds. 1000 horsepower sounds insane and acceleration in the Hummer EV is a special experience. Coming into the corner, the brakes don't inspire as much confidence as I would like and you have to remember that the road runs out quickly when your truck is this heavy and can go this fast. While I don't think there is a need to talk about driving dynamics of a 9000 pound pickup truck, I will say that if you lose your mind and want to take corners a little bit more aggressively than normal, the Hummer EV will not try to kill you and flip over or understeer into a tree. You get an understanding of what its limitations are and the computer distributes the torque in a smart way to control the vehicle dynamics. Again, you have to be careful because you can go very fast, very quickly, but for what it is, I'm impressed. As we slow down, one more thing I wanted to add is that the powertrain in general has been calibrated well, including one pedal driving. And if it's not your cup of tea, you can turn it off or use a region on demand system controlled by a paddle mounted behind the wheel. Something I found myself using when, for example, going down the hill or coming to the red light. Overall, driving the Hummer EV, like I said in the beginning, is super easy and it doesn't even feel like an electric truck. So that was the new Hummer EV. With everything we covered, let's jump to the final thoughts. On paper, the Hummer EV pickup makes a little sense. Something that was once a definition of a gas guzzler is now a fully electric truck of the future that isn't super energy efficient, weighs 9,000 pounds, costs 6 figures, has 1,000 horsepower and can get from 0 to 60 in about 3 seconds. Do you need it all in a truck? Yeah, absolutely not. But look at it as a halo vehicle for GM, showing what the company is capable of and what the future generation of their trucks will look like. With prices starting at $96,000 and topping at around $150, it clearly targets wealthy clientele and if you see one, it will probably be driving in a big city or a rich suburban area. Just where it belongs, right? If you have any questions about the Hummer EV, feel free to drop a comment and I'll answer them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you later.